G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and today I want to talk quickly about mulching in my quail pen. Now I use mulch in my quail pen for two reasons. One, so that the quail are nice and happy and healthy and they have something good underneath their feet to walk on, they have something to nest in, dig around and play in. And secondly, so that I can use this mulch in my garden as a secondary use. Buying mulch for my garden, like uh, straw, loosen, hay, sugarcane mulch, those type of things are fantastic in the garden, but it's very expensive. I like to get a couple of uses out of my mulch. That's why my mulch for my garden starts here in my quail and chicken pen, and then it progresses up into my garden. And I do that because the mulch that, that starts off down here gets a chance to get broken down and it turns into a fantastic mulch fertiliser. But let's just talk about quail and mulch for them in their pen. They love playing in fresh mulch. It's natural for them to be in hidden situations. They're a small bird, they can't fly very well. That's why they're camouflaged in their natural environment. And that's why they like playing and digging in the mulch, uh, not just for health reasons, to get rid of mites and to throw dust and that over themselves, but they also like to hide in it and make their nests, even if they're not gonna put an egg in it. They like to have a nest to lie in throughout the day. It makes them feel good. And I see that my quail are at their most happiest when their pen is full of mulch and got plenty of places for them to hide and play in. I use in my pen here, which is 7.2 metres long by 2.4 wide, I'll use about at least one full large hay bale, sometimes a, a bale and a bit. I like to have a good, you know, four inches of straw on the bottom of the four. Some places I even have up to six or so inches. When you first lay it out, it's sometimes even a foot or so high of straw thrown everywhere, but within a day or two, the quail walk it all down anyway. And then they start building their little homes and nests in it. That mulch lasts for a good six months, but I like to really change it after every about four. It can be earlier than that, depending on the weather. Through the hot, humid time of the year when there's a fair bit of rain, I'll change that mulch a lot faster, maybe every few months. In winter or a, through a dry spell, I may only change the mulch in six months time. The, the indication for me to change the mulch is when I can see that it's dirty enough, that it's got enough manure through it, that it's actually breaking down and getting nice and fine, and there's not enough for the quail to happily scratch around and easily play in. So when I see that happening, I tend to take it all out. I use a rake and a shovel, get it into my wheelbarrow and put it into my garden, which by that time usually needs a good mulching anyway. Yeah, the eggs are a little harder to find when you're trying to look through the mulch and find these little hidden gems all camouflaged in with the straw but I would rather them be more happy and me find it more difficult to find the eggs than have a really sparse pen just for the sake of me being able to find eggs easy. And that's about it. So pretty well two reasons. One for the quail and making them happy and also help and keeping them healthy. And the other reason is for me and my garden. So it's multi-use for mulch, and I think that's a really great way to use straw, hay, sugar cane, or any of those other products. Give it to the quail first, let them use it, fertilize it, and then transfer it to the garden. Simple as, everybody's happy, and I think it's great. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.